Hello, nerds. Thank you for joining me here on Nerd News Clips. This is the second channel. Uh, this is the place for all of the short form content as well as the individual sections and just generally speaking, smaller things. If you are into the longer form content, youtube.com slash generally nerdy is the place to go see that. With that out of the way, let's get into this. Now let's move into gaming and tech. We have no follow-ups again for gaming and tech. We do have a new trailer that honestly is for a game that somehow flew under my radar. The name of the game is Metal Hellsinger. Uh, this is a strange combination of an FPS shooter uh, that's re redundant in FPS as well as a rhythm-based game. It is, you are effectively a demon going through hell, going to shoot up, shoot up Satan. And you do it to a kick-ass soundtrack, and the reason this finally hit onto my radar, even though they already have like Randy Blythe and a whole bunch of other metal heavyweights doing songs, doing some sort of music for this, this game. We now have Serge Tankian has done a song for this game as well. And so they released a new trailer featuring Serge's song, Serge obviously from System of a Down. And oh my God, go check this out. This looks bonkers. It does not have a set release date just yet, sadly, but we do have some time in 2022, and we also know that it is going to be on Steam as well as Xbox Series consoles and the PlayStation 5. Sadly, it will not be on current generation of consoles. So our next piece of gaming and tech news is much more on the tech side of things. AMD just had their big yearly press conference for the masses, and they announced the Ryzen 7000 core... Uh, 7,000 cores. No, this Ryzen 7,000 uh, uh, series of processors. And uh, so they announced that it is set to launch in 2023. And honestly, the specs on this are bonkers. They're, they're, they're finally... I mean, I guess finally is not the best word. They they are they have been giving Intel a run for their money for some time, and now they're giving Intel a run for their money and are taking the lead, which I don't think has ever really happened in my life in my lifetime because Intel has just always been the ones to make the things. So super excited to see this. If you want a better breakdown, the link that you're going to find down in the description will take you to Linus Tech Tips. He definitely got got into the hard specs for this a lot better than I could ever imagine to. So go check out his video once you've finished with me here today. Uh, yeah. Next, we have an interesting piece of news. So iFixit has made an announcement. What with the uh, Stream Deck coming out very, very soon, they have made the announcement that they are going to support you being able to fix your Stream Deck with almost, quote unquote, almost every piece of the Stream Deck available for purchase so that if something breaks, you can fix it. Uh, this is huge in modern times because we do not have the right to fix our own things. Uh, it's the very much more than we can cover in a single video, in the, in the, let alone a general news video. But yeah, th this is this is kind of huge for the the right to fix, the right to whatever you want, to, however whatever terminology you want to put that into. The, the this battle that has been going on for years and years years at this point, this is gigantic. So I'm super excited about this. The parts that will not be available at launch are going to be battery related, though they have said that they will be working very diligently on getting those parts to you as soon as possible. And so we'll be keeping tabs on this one. Let's move next into Death Stranding. This one probably should have gotten follow-ups, not gonna lie but it's actually technically an announcement. It's actually technically a leak, but it comes from somebody who there's no reason to believe them. Uh, there's no reason to believe them to be telling falsehoods. 
Uh, Norman Reedus has said that they are actively in pre-production on the, the sequel to Death Stranding. I would say the next Death Stranding game, but knowing Hideo and his crazy name schemes that he puts up for these games, I don't think it's going to be called Death Stranding 2. I think there's going to be much something much more interesting there. So yeah, uh, and then apparently he got in a little bit of trouble because he wasn't supposed to say that much, but now that the cat's out of the bag, we're talking about it that's what we have on that one though and that's actually all of the proper news for gaming and tech so let's get into gaming and tech suggestion this week we're going back to the suggestion of good old-fashioned freaking split gate uh i'm i i this game is just so much fun it's it is everything that we wanted in halo infinite already there <laughs> as far as multiplayer goes i mean there's no single player so if you're looking for a single player campaign mode then you're kind of going to be a little uh wanting but as far as multiplayer goes it, this plays like hey like the halo we should have gotten for halo infinite in a lot of ways i mean it's not an exact clone because i mean obviously they wouldn't want to do an exact clone but just so much fun. They are doing a big event, I believe. Actually, it, it might have ended, so don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's still going. Uh, big event for a new uh, a character skin that looks like a Halo character, not gonna lie. It's kind of cool. Anyway, go check it out. Splitgate is this week's suggestion for gaming and tech. Once again, this has been just a brief segment from the larger episode that has been posted over on the main channel, youtube.com slash generally nerdy. Go over there for the long form content or just subscribe here if you want it in bite sized chunks. Thank you very much for joining me, nerds. We'll see you in the next one. Before we go, though, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs>